so welcome to the second, third, third, third episode of the Query Diaries. I feel like I haven't recorded a video about this in forever. So hello, here I am recording a video about it. How are you doing? Querying is still going, guys. So I did hear back from the first three chapters in the synopsis and it was her pass. She passed on reading any further. So that was disappointing and, you know, that was hard, but I am not too upset about it. I'm just going to keep querying, keep going. So I had that rejection, and then I did get a form rejection, but the only reason I knew it was a form rejection was because it said that it was a form rejection. It didn't feel like a form rejection, so I don't really know what the, like, issues with form rejections, I guess, that I could say. Because the form rejection I received, I might have received more and just don't know that they were form rejections because they're written in a way where it doesn't feel like a form rejection. It just feels like encouragement to keep querying, keep trying. So that's how I felt about it. But yeah, I did get that. And that was on one of the queries I sent out over a month ago. So that one came back. There's still two that are out going on a month. But I'm giving them, I think, 60 days, I said in the last video, because they say six to eight weeks on the website. So I'm giving them 60 days, and then I'm calling it a rejection. I did send out a few more queries. Don't ask me why. I don't, I don't know, guys. I really don't know why I did it, but I did it. And so my friend on Twitter, she has been telling me, you know, just keep my head up and things because I haven't gotten a single request for a full or a partial or anything like that. But I also haven't sent out a lot of queries. I didn't count them before this video, so I don't know how many, but I think we're still ranging around like maybe like 10 to 15 which isn't a lot and you know she told me I told her I didn't want to be the person to send out a hundred queries but she said you know what if that 101 query you send is the agent that loves your book and publish gets it published and so it kind of made me feel good and so I sent out a couple more queries to a few agents that have represented books that have become like big movies that we've all heard of I can't remember their names at this point, but one of the agencies I queried, I'm they said that they respond to every query and you should hear back within two weeks, but usually sooner, so I'm excited. I should be hearing back from them relatively soon, which is exciting at the same time scary because who knows. <laughs> but I'm trying not to get down. I'm working on my second novel now and I've got the outline over here in the corner. You can see the little cork board worked out and so I'm excited to start drafting that and get the first draft of that finished and hopefully hopefully done by the summer. I'm aiming for May or June <laughs> and then if I haven't gotten an agent I'll be querying that one. So yeah that's how the querying is going thus far. Just me waiting thinking my book isn't good enough, looking back at my book, wondering if I could do better, hoping this next book is better and I really am just praying to get an agent by the end of this year. My daughter is really over there having a field day. So that's where I stand in the, in the querying trenches thus far. I did get a bookshelf though guys. It's behind me. This is my bookshelf. These are like the books on my TBR and I just found out another one of my books came in so that's exciting. Nothing to do with querying but exciting. So that's where I am. I always think when it comes to querying that if a book like Fifty Shades of Grey or, you know, I love Twilight, but some people hate Twilight. Or Twilight. Some people hate Divergent. That's another one I love. But if books like that can get published that people really just, some people just really hate and say they're terrible, I'm sure my book can get published. Even though I don't want my book to be published if it's bad and people aren't going to like it. But that's my encouragement for myself is that somebody somewhere will like it, love it, and help me get it out there. So, this is a really long video, and they're not supposed to be this long. But that's where we are in querying. I'll keep you guys updated as things progress or degress, but I'm hoping we move towards progression. Okay, guys. So, querying is still going. It's still happening, guys, and it's been so long since I did a video, but I'm doing one. Um, I did get another rejection. 
recently from Aquaria sent sometime. I don't remember when, guys. I, I'm so sorry. I just been like struggling getting everything together in my life right now and so querying has been on like a pause mainly because I have queries still out but also because like I'm in a stage where this is my first book I started it when I was 12 I finished it last year I edited it but I feel like it's just there's just something missing it just needs more love and it needs more time and so I'm thinking I might shelve it for now and just work on my second manuscript and finish that and query that. I feel like that one's going to be so much better and people are going to relate so much more to it and it's going to be great. And I posted on Twitter and I asked when I should shelve a manuscript basically after how many rejections and people were like keep querying, keep querying, keep querying. Which if you're on my Twitter and you were one of those people, thank you for the encouragement. It really does mean the world to me. I just personally feel like it might be best for me to shelve it and just work on my new manuscript because I do think it needs more time and more love than I can currently give it at this point. I think I just need, I just need, I don't even know, it might even need a complete and total rewrite. Like it might just not be where it needs to be right now and that's fine. I just need to find it in me to just let it lay for a little bit. I think that that, that might be best and I know... I know some of you are going to be like, why, why would you do that? But honestly, it happens all the time. First manuscripts usually aren't the best. I'm not saying you can't get your first manuscript published and you can't query it and it won't be great. I'm not saying that. But for me, it's kind of how it feels. Um, I will tell you guys this, uh, and no offense, for the sake of being honest and really truly in this series wanting to share the querying experience and what it feels like as an author trying to get your book out there. I feel like I need to tell you guys this, so I will say this. My critique partner, who I've mentioned in a previous video, whom I really, really love, shout out to her, um, she recently got an agent, and it was through Twitter, obviously, that I found out. So she had made a post that she had some exciting news she was gonna share on like Tuesday or something like that. Immediately, I was like, oh, she got an agent. But you know, I waited, I waited. And then she made a post and she's like, I got an agent and I'm with this person over here at this agency. And though I'm happy for her, it kind of like, I don't want to say it hurts, but it just, uh, it does something to your self-esteem when somebody who is helping you gets an agent before you. It kind of feels like almost like a slap in the face like almost like you're not good enough because you're trying and trying and even when she I was talking to her about all the querying she'd done she was getting requests for fulls and partials and things like that and I've gotten no requests I've only gotten rejections and I know that like people on Twitter have told me some of the great authors like JK Rowling or Stephen King got lots and lots of rejections um one of them I don't remember who actually would put a he would print them out and he would like pin them to something and when it, the pin got so heavy that it almost couldn't hold them, that's when he knew he was doing a good job. I am just not that person, okay? Uh, most people aren't. Rejection is painful and I know you have to deal with it in the writing community, but when somebody that you've worked with starts getting requests and you have nothing, it is difficult and hard on your self-esteem. And this video is meant to be honest and honestly share the querying experience with you all. So I'm going to voice the way that I feel and please don't jump down my throat unless you want to give me encouragement. That's fine. I really do appreciate it. But I am only human and so it is, it is something that is, it's not easy to deal with and it's not because of all the rejections that I'm deciding I might shelve it it's because of how I feel personally as an author I feel like I can do better I know that I can do better and so I want to try to I want to try to do better with this next manuscript and maybe my first manuscript will find a place eventually it might need a complete and total rewrite like I said and I wouldn't mind doing that it's just right now I'm working on a new project and I'm ex really excited about it and it's it comes from the heart and it's something that I'm really passionate about and so I want to do that and I want to bring that to light and I feel like that will be a better debut honestly than my first novel so even though I'm still querying at the moment this might be a little bit of a a shelf for the querying diaries for now because I might not be querying um 
after these next uh, few agents let me know, I might, I might stop for, for a little bit and I might be working on my new novel and I'm debating on whether I want to do the work in progress diaries for you guys or something similar because I know Kim Chance has um, the WIP diaries and I don't want to like steal the name. So I I don't know if I'll do I'll do something similar maybe uh maybe I'll do like Diary of a Mad Writer or like something like that but I'll have something else for you guys in the meantime and then we'll jump back if I do stop we'll jump back on this when I start querying my next one and I'll let you guys know how I feel so this might be the last episode of the Query Diaries and you guys might be seeing me in Diary of a Mad Writer or something like that I actually really like that title so I might use it. But I want to thank you guys for just watching this, these first three episodes. I promise, I promise, I promise. There will be more. If I do not start really putting a dent in my manuscript soon, I will be doing Camp NaNoWriMo, and I believe it's in April. And so I will be killing this book. <laughs> I wrote 50,000 words in November. I know I can do it again. So, yeah, I will be back, you guys. You guys will see me querying again, um, and you guys will see that that other diary that I will be doing soon and so thank you guys so much for watching this episode um I love you guys so 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 much if you liked it leave a like down below a comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of the query diaries when it comes back and maybe possibly diary of a mad writer who knows so all right guys thank you bye